Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today will be I will be showing you how you can create a WordPress website completely for free. Yes, that's right. There is you will have to pay zero charges and this tutorial is perfect for those users who are just starting out or um, you want to try things that if this will be good for your business or not so you can use this method and you will get 60 days to try this website uh, try this hosting com for completely for free and um, you can use this to create an online shop a blog or any other kind of website you want and um, for specific tutorials you can watch my other videos i will link leave all the links in the description so without further delay let's um, start this tutorial so the first thing you have to do is um, and for this we are using a VPS provided by DigitalOcean as you can see here they provide free credit, credit and uh, $100 for 60 days and this is more than enough for doing any testing you want so for 60 days you won't have to pay anything and if you um, decide to continue then you can uh, start paying them okay so and for this you will have to you will either need a coupon co coupon code or a referral link which um, which i will provide you in the description and in the comments so check the comments area and you will see my uh, referral link for the and just sign up using that and you will get this hundred dollar credit and if you do not use the referral link you will not get this credit so uh, make sure you use the correct link okay and um, once you see this page click on this option and here you will see um, you will have to sign up so there are three options available sign up with email sign up with google sign up with github so um, i will select the you can select either option i will select the first option of email okay and here also you can see you will receive 100 dollar credit good for 60 days when you create a new account on digital ocean so i will just enter my name here just fill this details and then click on sign up sorry about the noises if you can hear them there's um, work going on and um, i'm really sorry about that so okay now the you will see this option welcome to digital ocean and um, confirm your email so i will check my email Okay, here it is uh, this email from this lotion I will simply click on this link and um, your, you will see this your email was confirmed and um, you have been referred to digital ocean you can see as i told you that you have to be referred to digital ocean to receive this free credit or you will not get it so make sure you follow the referral link um, and then here you will see set up uh, billing add a payment method uh, will be applied after after you up, you uh, set up the payment method you will get the hundred dollar credit and um, it is mandatory to set up a payment method because um, so to make sure that the service is not abused by bots or fake accounts um, digital ocean use this technique and uh, but you don't have to worry about it unless you um, use more than hundred dollar in 60 days or after 60 days um, you continue to use only then you will be charged if um, for 60 days um, you will not be charged anything if you cancel your service before 60 days and if you use this service for more than 60 days you will have to pay uh, according to the plan you select and your usage so i will select um, my paypal account i will connect my paypal account and um, to use may verify my account so i will select this option and then click on continue to paypal you can also select the credit card or debit card option but um, whatever it is uh, if you don't have a paypal account but um, since i have a paypal account i will select this as it will be much easier for me so uh, i will select on continue to paypal
Okay, once the payment verification process is complete, um, you will see the screen and on the top right here, you can see the $100 free credit has been uh, added to our account and you can also see the remaining days here. 59 days are remaining. So, and that's it. That's how easy it is to sign up. And now let's create our free website. For this, here you will see this option, new project. Let's click on it. And here, enter your name, a project name. Uh, I will select first free WordPress. Okay, and um, okay, I will leave this blank and then select just um, you can select whatever you want. I will um, create create project. And here, uh, just click on skip for now. And here, um, then you will see this option. Click on get started with the droplet. And um, on this screen, um, you will have to select go to this option marketplace. Okay, um, select WordPress, then select the plan, shared CPU, and um, this $5 per month plan. Okay, and um, this will be deducted from the $100 credit we have, uh, have in our account. So don't worry about that. And here, select the region uh, of the data center you want to host your website on. So um, up, you, you have to select uh, the data center which is closest to you or your visitors so i will select the this european one amsterdam select on this password method and um, so you can select your password here make sure that this is a strong password and um, i will also save it Okay, now scroll down as you can see here this notice you will not be sent an email containing the droplet details or password so please store your password securely so make sure you keep uh, keep it in a secure place and how many droplets we want just keep this in default and um, for host name you can um, just keep this on default or uh, if you want to change it, um, whatever you want to do, I will select the okay. And here, just tag some, leave this stuff um, blank. And um, we do not need a backup. Select project, make sure the free WordPress is selected, and then click on create droplet. Okay, and this will take a few seconds to install the drop, um, install work, um, set up the droplet. And then select on this three dots. Copy this and um, paste it here. Okay, it is showing we have to use the login. So just um, select this access console. Okay, here we need to log in. So let's select group, press enter. Then um, may I remember the password we used. Um, just copy and um, paste it here. Then enter. It will not be visible, but it has been uh, entered. Okay. Now it is asking for a subdomain and domain. Um, I will leave this blank right now. And um, let's minimize it and 
um, just copy this IP and open it in a new tab which uh, I was so I will reload this page and you will see the WordPress installation screen then click on continue select the language you want then click on continue and um, select the website title and everything and um, you do not select this option but since this is a demo site farm I created this tutorial so I will select it but you don't have to select it this will um, prevent the site from getting indexed by search engines then click on install WordPress and you will see this message I will save the password WordPress has been installed thank you and enjoy just log in and that's it that's how you um, enter your wordpress dashboard so it is asking for an update so let's do that first it is very important to uh, make sure that you are using the latest version of wordpress to make sure that your website is secure and um, you can see how fast this vps is and um, you are free to use the site for 60 days and after that only you will be charged according to the plan and your usage and the plan start from five dollars which is quite very good for a vps and um, it is better than shared hosting if you use it correctly so and um, this process is complete and now i will show you how you can connect your domain as you can see right now we are accessing it only over other ip of the server so let's um, go back to the dashboard again select on this three dot menu uh, three buttons and um, you will see add a domain option then uh, enter the domain you want to um, select okay and um, i have if you don't have a domain you can watch my other tutorial the link will be in the description to um, if you want to know how to buy a domain and then select um, this uh, select the correct um, droplet and then click on add domain Okay, you will see this message that it was added and the next thing you have to do is update the name servers in the dom uh, with your domain registrar you can see the instructions here click on it and based on the do your domain registrar for example i am using name G, you select it and um, this is the options i have to enter so i will just copy and paste it um, you can read the guide if you do not know how to update it but since I know so I'll just um, do it quickly as the domain you can see mybbsecurity.net and I'll click on manage then here select custom DNS paste it paste paste let's show NS and then update it now this will take a um, few hours to update so you can see here this message DNS server may take up to 48 hours but usually it gets updated within a few hours so now let's go back to the dashboard and um, the important thing now you have to do is okay and um, let's here make sure that they, they are all records are um, present here important records this is the important record so now let's um, go here and in the site settings go to general and here in the, in the site address enter your domain name mybsecurity.net this is um, my domain name you can also copy and paste it from here to make sure that uh, there's no spelling mistakes okay and then update it save changes settings have been saved so once the uh, domain registrar update the name servers um, you will be able to access it over this address 
let's see what uh, it shows now right now it is um, showing this okay um, I think the domain registrar has already updated it okay um, sometime it happens but well this is it happened almost instantly which um, usually not the case but anyway this is good for the tutorial and you can see this the demo website uh, we just created and um, this is the date you can see and um, our website is working properly and everything so the um, and uh, okay and this is the first basic um, tutorial of the series uh, distribution series so we have completed the wordpress installation now there are some things uh, important things that is uh, first we need to add an ssl certificate as you can see right now it is showing not secure so to remove this we will install a free HTTPS certificate and um, to, to not this make not make this video too long i will create another tutorial for that um, you will be able to find the link in the description once that video is up so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, please leave a comment if you get any error or if you have any trouble following it or um, if you like this tutorial just leave your feedback okay and that's it and um and i will also teach you how to set up an online store on this um, installation and the next tutorials so make sure you watch that and um, in a very easy and simple way using all the free tools available i will show you how you can set up your own e-commerce online web um, shopping store where you can um, take online payments and everything like an online store so now you are free to enjoy this um, trial for 60 days this hosting and um, so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i will see you in the next video